Welcome back. In this video, I want to go ahead and really dive into what's possible with this new drip engine in Rebel 3. Now, in order to see this, I want to make sure that you also have the visual settings open that we talked about in the last video. Now, before I get too far into this, I want to point out that in addition to the drip engine being enhanced in Rebel 3, the blow tool has also been enhanced in Rebel 3, and I'm going to use both of those things together in order to create some trees. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that would work. Now, I'm going to be moving pretty quick here, so I'll narrate over what I've recorded so that you can see in real time the process of creating trees using the new drip engine. Now, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be pausing and then turning on tilt and tilting it upwards about halfway. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to zoom in on the document. So I'm looking at 100%. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I'm painting with some watercolor. And it's going to be fairly thick. And I might even add a little bit of water in order to make sure that this isn't too dry because we do want it to drip. Now, I also want to point out that the drip is currently set to on with Create Drips enabled. And I also have a drip size of five and a drip length of five, which are the default values. And I'm gonna begin painting in the trunks of my trees and I want to create variation. And the reason why is because where the volume of water is, is where the drips are gonna come from. So if it's completely even over the course of the tree trunk, then there's gonna be branches at even intervals and that's no good. So we wanna make sure that we create some nice random variation. And then I also wanna go ahead and make sure that I'm also tapering it towards the top so that our trees look a little bit more natural and organic. And we'll see that we can also use the drip engine in order to create that by varying the drip slider at various different points in the dripping process. Now, once I'm ready to begin to create the drips, I'll unpause. And I just wanna make sure that I'm looking at my tilt because that could be something that's very relevant as we're working. And I'm gonna change the blow tool size so that we can begin to drip. And I'm just gonna go ahead and unpause and then scrub over the top of the thing with the blow tool in order to create those branches. And then I'm gonna change the size for the drip size. And then I'm gonna go ahead and keep scrubbing. And I'm gonna do it in different directions in order to create some nice random variation in these drips. And then I just wanna make sure that I'm periodically going back and changing the drip size down so that we get thinner and thinner branches as we're moving up. And again, it's important to remember the reason why we're moving up right now is because I changed the tilt to be pointing upwards. And at the very end, what I'll be doing is also pulling that tilt even higher so that we're going to be pulling those branches straight up at the very end. But for right now, we're just gonna go ahead and just focus on making sure that these drips become smaller and smaller as they're reaching towards the sky. So this will give us a more natural branch look and just keep scrubbing over it with the blow tool to create nice random variation. And you can see how much more powerful the drip engine and the blow tool are in Rebel 3 than they were in Rebel 2. And you can really get some nice and interesting types of drippy effects that could be useful in a variety of different ways. Here I use it for branches, but you could really use this in a number of different ways to get some really, really interesting organic, painterly, watercolor type of effects that would be very difficult to get in pretty much any other software. Now that said, I also want to make sure that as I'm getting ready to shut down this demo, that I go back over here and reset my parameters so that I have my drip sizes back to five and five, and then I'll meet you in the next video.